Hi guys, um, I this time I'm gonna do a bit something different. Uh, I just want to comment on the iPad Pro uh, because I uh, after it came out, and I think this is uh, a reason. I'm gonna give reasons why um, it's not a worthy purchase. You shouldn't buy it unless you have a lot of money. Then you can spend. Then it's okay because the iPad Pro is quite expensive, but I don't think it meets it. It warranty warrants the um, you to part your cash. I will give you uh, some examples why, uh, why the reasons why I think uh, it's not worthy purchase. And this coming from an iPhone fan, I'm an Apple fan from a long time uh, since iPhone 3G, and I've been using them uh, their product. And this is the reason why I think um, the iPad Pro is not worthy. Or being even a call a pro. Uh, reason number one. The biggest reason number one is that it it uses uh, iOS nine. That's the same iOS that is used on the normal iPad and my phone. And as a as a as a, a power user, if you want to edit videos or um, do uh actually edit videos or do a lot of normal work that you do on your PC or your MacBook you can't do that on iOS system iOS system lacks the ability to save things to folders you know um, you know it's very restricted to the app if you have an app you want to save somewhere you can only save it in the app and um, of course they, they say it have a cloud servicing but it's still not as it's not as freedom as as free as you when you use the uh, MacBook or PC, okay. And because it is an iOS system, all the apps are not the versions that professional use on laptops or MacBooks and whatnot, because iOS nine apps have limitations uh, because it was basically made for touch screen or made for lower end uh, lower end system. And even though the the new uh, iPad or the new iPhone, the latest one has specs that are good enough for laptop or PC comparison, but the apps are lacking yet. For example, I'm just gonna point out on iMovie because I do a lot of movie editing. iMovie lacks what the, um, the 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 desktop version have. The desktop version have a lot of functions that you can move sound you can select you can do a lot of things very robust for a simple editor like iMovie the the desktop version is superb but on the on the iOS it's just a, a small version a limited version of it so it, it it has a lot of weaknesses so to to say if you buy iPad Pro it's a replacement for a laptop or a MacBook that's not the good reason to to do that you know what I mean and then we go from iMovie we, if you want to do some extra works on your video you want Adobe Photoshop or Adobe what do you call it After Effects for video editing you can, you don't have an equivalent on the iOS so for me that's one of the biggest reason why it's not even a pro tool the iOS system the, and then inside the MacBook Pro uh, inside the iPad Pro it's not a professional system that you can use to edit a movie whereas if you edit you can edit a movie on the on the laptop that's why I say it's not a good purchase uh, yeah yeah and that's basically the giant one I mean the small the other small other reasons are like it's, to me it's just too big too cumbersome and you will you know if you want to go around uh, you will still have this thing in your house on your desk uh, you can't carry it around even though it's an iPad it's too big it's too uh, you know it's like I had problem with the my the normal iPad I had problem with the iPad mini because it's hard for me to carry it around so I think you will end up putting the the iPad Pro in your house for basic things the only good thing the iPad Pro can you is good is for drawing or because I, I've seen the drawing doesn't use a lot of power so there's a lot of app that can handle 
uh, professional drawing even but for video I mean serious work on the computer usually we do videos or films you can't I don't think there's an app that can help you do that you know it's just iMovie and iMovie is also limited it's not like the, the desktop version again I'm repeating that um, yeah so that's I hope is the is my my biggest reason why the iPad Pro is not worthy of purchase because the um, the cash the equivalent money for the iPad Pro you can buy a computer that can buy a professional iPad a, a professional Adobe After Effects and stuff so yes that's my review and my reasons for saying that the iPad Pro is not really a professional tool it's just a big screen you know so don't be fooled and think about it carefully and this coming from an Apple fanboy I I'm not a fanatic as the, the old days but I I learned I I appreciate Apple products seriously I'm using an I, Apple iPhone to capture this and I do believe that the the there is great strength in the small mobile stuff by Apple but the iPad Pro is not worthy of the pro level yet so that's my two cents that's my uh, reasons why the iPad Pro is not a pro tool and why you should save your money for a real computer okay thank you guys for watching